So after all that, I'm not the one. <clears throat> Bit of a relief, huh? I suppose so. <laughs> you must thought I was a stalker freak, thanks to my discreet friends. You were just trying to help. Yes, by making me out to be a desperate fantasist. You are a desperate fantasist. Uh, no, I'm not, actually. He is. I'm a fantasist, I'm not desperate. Well, I suppose I'd never have lived up to your fantasy anyway. Trust me, David, nobody could. Tom! Sorry I'm late. Tom, this is Peter and Finley. Hey, Tom, I think we've met. Finley, how have you been? Great, and you? Can't complain, can't complain. Finally out of the art world. Tom's acting now. Acting? Yeah, that's why I'm late. Had an audition for a new drama at the BBC. How'd it go? Good. Well, great, actually. I was, I was so inside the character, you know? And then they asked for a monologue, so I did that one from Streetcar, which everyone loved. Actress, I was doing it. Well, she was hopeless. You know, I was doing my best to get the okay. You can't do it. That's him. Who? <laughs> That's the guy I bumped into at the hotel. What? Sorry, um, excuse me, I, I just need to use the loo, actually. <laughs> Finley? Right, I'll just, uh, give you a hand. I can't believe you said I'll give you a I'm hand. sorry, I'm sorry, but listen, I think I know what happened. Tom used to be David's assistant. They both must have gone to the hotel, but Tom arrived with the paintings on his own, which is when you bumped into him. Great, so now what do I do? Well, I'd probably zip up. Mustn't seem over eager. <laughs> 